Welcome back, Zero K fans. Flores, unfortunately, is rather tired right now because apparently it's actually quite late there, over in the in the Netherlands. So he is out. I'm trying to get Sack to see if he will join up, but he is currently not paying attention to the lobby. Anyway, getting on to Gold and Forever versus Drone and El Torero. It's going to be on Desert Needle Small once again. So Gold starting out light vehicles southwest. Forever with air in the south. Drone going for air and life goes so just like the last game we saw on this one. Saab, Yurga versus Yuxtoth and Skazi. Pretty much the exact same positioning, two of all the factories. And it looks like Drone going for some Avengers. Avenger spam, Avenger spam from... Actually, a few Avengers from Forever, not quite spam. But yeah, getting the early air. Going very quickly, getting... Actually, getting very quick early economy with the... Or early energy, rather. And... Early constructors, so El Torero going for early slashers and some early constructors. So El Torero looks like he is pushing. El Torero and Drone are pushing more heavily for economy from the looks of it, though. Drone, because he's the air player, is going to be setting up a bit more in terms of, well, air, I guess. Oh, I should probably check my audio settings when I think about it. So I need to adjust slightly. Now, there we go. Okay. Sorry about that, if it was too loud. So, anyway, as I was saying, with... Drone setting up his economy and... Oops. Alright, I'm going to have a Sackdoth joining me in just a sec. So, get him on. Anyway, in the meantime, we have... For... Oh, pff, that's why. I thought something was going off. Keep doing this. There we go, that's what I wanted to hear. Audio. So anyway, Forever is going to be a drone. Setting a pretty good... Actually, Forever has got some reclaim going from the looks of it. Yeah, he's getting reclaim on the rocks on the side of the map. Not bad. But we will have... Well, one sec, we'll get sacked off in, and then... I'll go commentator again. Anyway, so it looks like Drone is pretty much on... Well, actually, he's trying to get Aaron, but looks like he, he has to move back with the Swifts. And I know, I have to remember, it's Swift, not Avenger. That's the one name I'm having a hard time adapting to. So, once I get... All right. We get Sackdoth up, then we'll have him. So Forever is going for more Swifts. Drone, he switched over to Cranes. Getting a Caretaker as well, from the looks of it, wants to just push out air as much as possible. At this point, Drone and Go Golda and Forever, rather, have a decent economy advantage. And Golda is going very heavily for Constructors. He, he is playing what Yurga did last game. Heavy Constructor on the Vehicle Factory, while Forever takes all of the air. So let's get Sackdoth in. And once he's in... Hello, Sackdoth! Hello. Okay, so... You're in. I apologize, your audio quality is not going to be super great because I don't have time to set you up, but... Anyway, you're in the game? You're watching? Yep. Okay. So we have... Sorry, everyone was watching. One sec. Anyway, so yeah. Drone going for air with... He is pretty much taking air control at this point. Although, Forever actually... No, Forever's doing well with some Swifts on the south... In the northwest side of the map. And... Drone trying to come in with a Hawk to try to take care of those Swifts, but it's not going to work out too well. Not even able to take out one. Yeah, um... Drone went in for the, um, con snipe. But, and then boosted away, but he had wasted his boost, so he couldn't use it tactically, which meant he lost to the enemy fighters. Yeah, which of course, that is definitely problematic. So at this point, Forever has air control. And now, is El Torero going to go for crash? I do not see any crashes out of El Torero, nor do I see anything more than defenders for getting rid of air. So right now, I think Drone's relying entirely on these Hawks to get air control back. Not sure how that's going to work. 
Yeah, I think he's going to... He looks like he's built a Slash or two. He's not got any more in his queue, but he's got... Um, oh, there uh, are he's crashes, got crashes in, queue. in his queue now. Yeah. That's good. And... Oh, wow. Forever just about loses Commander there. Gets it out of the way onto the hills, but... Still not the best spot. And more Hawks going down. Two of the Hawks go down for Drone. Another Hawk going to go down. Forever really is doing very nicely with these Swifts. And I think he has... Oh, no. He's on reload for the boost. Can't quite boost yet. Probably should at this point boost out of there. And the game pauses. Who paused the game? Ah. Okay, Forever's having more internet problems, apparently. That sucks. Why? Why you have internet problems? Yeah, it's, it, I'm gonna take a it's, it's interesting at the moment we've got this um, slasher in the middle of the map. Which can actually shoot shoot down those swifts here. If for fighter control slashes are actually really quite good, you don't need to rely on um, uh, on crashes during the fighter versus fighter stage of the game. That's true, but once you get into the point where one player has air control, the other player pretty much has to build crashers, or the other team pretty much has to build crashers to get back in. Yeah, you rely very heavily on um, ground AA to um, uh, swing the fighter game in your favor. Yeah, so that's going to be. Looks like Golda is getting quite a few of those. How many crashes does each player have? So it looks like Golda has two, and El Torero has exactly zero. That's not going to be doing him much good. He needs to get more than zero. Yeah, he's building his first crash now because he had a bunch of Scorchers to keep before that. Yeah, he's getting quite a few Swifts as well, trying to just win out that way with numbers. And it looks like Forever's not confident of his air control. He's not switching over to Bomber yet. Not going for any comp snipes or anything, though at this point, Drone and El Torero have way too much energy. A comp snipe is going to be of no use. Now, actually, a Phoenix on the wind farm might be really powerful, though. Or just on the Scorchers. Open up the center. Yeah, this has a high base position, which means that, you know, if you put um, wind, especially on that back hill, which nobody's doing, but um, you get a lot of wind out of that, so they're going to be spamming wind for eco. Yeah, that's what I'm expecting them to do. I don't know what's taking... Well... What's taking forever so long to actually just get some bombers going? I'm really kind of surprised, honestly. I think they're still fighting for air control. I mean, you can still see there's a lot of fighters. Both players have AA. True. Um, Elsewhere is finally getting his crashes out now. Yeah, so with those crashes, that will definitely slow things down. Although, I don't know where they are exactly, but he does have sometimes them. Although, Sometimes you're just waiting for know, the transition Go into ground air. No, Gota coming in with his own Scorchers, that's going to be problematic. That's really going to be difficult to deal with. But, looks like, yeah, Gota's actually winning this out. Elsewhere is streaming heaps from his factory, though, so he's going to be able to stop these Scorchers before they do too much damage. That's true. And he's... Although, at this point, the economy is pretty even. The military is... And the advantage of Golda and Forever, but not by much. Mostly because Drone did lose a lot. El Torero, his commander, taking a fair amount of damage from the Swifts. I don't see any bombers around here, so I don't think... Well, no, no bombers in production. It's just a matter of the Swifts coming in and following up with Slashers. Crash is coming in from Golda as well to help just defend. I think he's got... Um, he's actually taking a lot of these um, fighters, these Swifts, using his Particle Beam. Yeah, th that is definitely quite true. Particle Beam is useful against that, but even with that, the Slash, the, no, the Scorcher's not quite able to get in there. Crash is doing what they can, but the Scorchers are pushed away. Golda does not quite get in with the Scorchers. However, the Swift's getting between the Lotus and the Particle Beam. Ultra's commander is going to survive this. And he's got, up, we uh, have Ravagers as well. He's already, Ultra has already got um, auto repair. He's already level two. He's got advanced targeting systems as well. He can tank it all day, or uh, Swift's all day with his auto repair. Yeah, but I was thinking more of the follow-up. If if any follow-up Scorchers came up, that would have been death. That being said, that really doesn't matter. What matters is the fact that in the meantime, Golda expanded along to the west side of the map. Along the entire west side of the map and started to take the center as well. And Forever has basically got one of these hills for himself. And Bitsprouse hasn't gone for any wind gens on here. But yeah, he has gone some defenders on here. He, I suppose, could theoretically get a stinger on here just to take the entire center if he wanted to. Although that has spherical range, I think, so maybe not. Yeah, Drone in the meantime has transitioned into tanks and he's spamming Scorchers, um, rather. Panthers, he's spamming yeah. Panthers. Oh, did you see the last games that we were, that we had? The ones with Yogstad, Skazi, and Saab and Yurga? There were a lot of Panthers in that game. There were an insane number of Panthers in that game. 
I mean, everything was Panthers. I have not seen... It really justifies the Switch to have Panthers do EMP on Explode. That yeah, really made yeah, that it, worth it. That, that's a sort of stand in the way of uh, massing them, because they'll yeah. EMP each other, especially and if it, they're fighting against enemy it EMP. It worked, but, but it, was, it was really <laughs> amusing to watch. Yeah, there was there was just, you know, enough territory in the map like Comet Catch. You have enough terrain that you can maneuver and you don't end up stunning yourself. But actually, the cool part was more a matter of being careful about when to kill your opponent's Panthers. That was the thing that seemed pretty cool. If you weren't careful to kill your opponent's Panthers in the wrong way, you end up losing your own. The explosion. Yeah. That was actually a neat little bit of tactics. I like that. Anyway, center of the map, El Torero coming in with a lot of scorches, trying to deal with everything that Goldet and Forever has thrown at them. And it looks like... Golda is going to lose a lot of these Ravagers here. His own Scorch is doing okay, and his own uh, Swiss. Well, that's going to help, but these Ravagers are going to do no good whatsoever. And. Yeah, Forever Swifts are doing fine. I think Forever really needs to switch. Oh, he's getting. He is getting a Thunderbird, but he needs to get himself some Phoenixes, I think. Get Just kill off these Scorchers. Here comes the third. Oh, I got shut down. <laughs> oh, shoot. I just missed it, too. <laughs> it's okay. It, it fired like two uh, shots and two oh, bursts see, yeah. and it didn't do anything. Ouch. Well, at this point we have a lot. Well, switching into level spent getting some Wolverines. El Torero is getting a few Wolverines. That's surprising. Yeah, in the bottom, El Torero has just gotten uh, hit by a um, Thunderbird again. So it's oh, yeah. not... Are going to be survive. Well, his commander's not going to do too too well, but he himself is going to be fine. I mean, sorry, the commander's going to be fine. I mean, the thing is, he's disarmed. He's not EMP'd or anything, and there's no follow-up. And a chainsaw at the center of the map for forever. That's actually really good. That is a really good spot to put it. Oh, man. If he can use that to then uh, switch completely out of fighters and then spam bombers, because... You know, yeah. from there, drone won't be able to make any fighters, basically. But Lucy is he going in a heavy tick. His tick gang set up and getting rid of quite a few of the crashers. Well, stunning quite a few of the crashers, stunning a lot of his own scorches as well. But those crashers are going to be going down with that. I think that's that's going to really solidify air control. However, okay, that Thunderbird trying to get in with the crashers, not letting it get anywhere near there. Switching back to Swifts, he is not going over. I think the crashes are his bigger concern right now. I don't think he's this worried about big, air. This, this, Sorry, what was that? This, this, he ticks in defensive position. There's a Scorch army going in, and that's a lot of Scorches, which could kill him if not for the ticks. Yeah, but it looks like at this point, Forever's just trying to keep himself alive long enough to actually get those, or, well, to keep him and go to alive to build up. Just slowly wear away at El Torero's army. Because right now, El Torero has a massive army. Easily the biggest in the game. I've got to actually reduce the font size of this, of the stats display just to show it. 11.4 thousand. And, wow. Yeah, sorry guys watching. It might be a little bit harder to see now, just to see they got the energy. 122 energy for Golda, 124 for El Torero. 12,000 medal of army for El Torero right now. A lot of that being the commander, but only about 2,000 of it. Yeah, El Torero is going in now. And no... We'll see what the ticks do. And the Thunderbird is not doing anything. Possibly dead. Look how clustered those Scorches are. If they could just get... Yeah, then yeah. they go like half the levels. Thunderbird... Oh, tick! Oh my goodness, oh. that was... That was a beautiful tick shot. Now he needs a follow-up to that. But he has... I don't think he has enough to actually follow that up. No, he doesn't have anything, really. Oh, that was that, that was perfect. That was the tick shot he needed. But here comes the um, morphed commander up the cliff as well, up the side. And in yeah. the back of his base. That El Torero is right in there, and I think I think that's going to be game. Although, well, Golda it's down to Goda. Yeah, that's something. If Goda has something going for him, he could pull it out, but it's tricky. I think El Torero yeah, and Drone have this. Earlier, uh, ah, Goda switched yeah. to Levelers to beat the Panthers, and Drone immediately switched to um, Reapers, which helped counter the Levelers, so he's having trouble. Yeah, but then again... Oh, I see it to the north. What we haven't been paying attention to. Yeah. Over to the north. Lots of stuff has been going on in the north. But it looks like that is pretty much going to seal it, though. Even Golda doesn't have much to deal with this. Yeah, All the power is going down. 
power is going down, and that is it. Though... Oh no, never mind! No, he actually managed to defend this a bit. I mean, there's still... Map control is all Elturos. Forever has nothing. I don't think it was name. You have to be given Gota a has nothing to, game. to stop the calm. Yeah, that that's true. That's going to finish it. This calm is going to win the game. Just tearing yeah, he apart really, the entire wind farm. He really needed to uh, have um, some bombers up to snipe it earlier. Because it's only got an auto repair module. It doesn't have any hit points or anything. Targeting yeah, and auto repair. That would have been four. I mean, this is the thing. No ravens were built this entire game. I found that very surprising. I don't think he didn't feel like he had air, air superiority. Yeah, but once he had the chainsaw up, I think it would have just been a matter of... Well, okay, there was a timing window he had. That was the thing. Yeah, I think so. I mean... Elthrower was being so aggressive with his commander. If he had of the moment he got the chainsaw up, immediately switched to pure um, raven or whatever they're called now. <laughs> they're called ravens now. Yeah. Yeah, if he switched to that, it would have been perfect. Anyway, gonna just get ready for the next game, so stay tuned, everyone. Okay, welcome back, 0K fans. It's Shadow 333. Once again, I remain myself, and Sackdoth is with me instead of Floris, because Floris had to leave because he was tired, so Sackdoth filled in. Thank you, Sackdoth. Hello, everyone. This is game two of Gode and Forever versus Drone and El Torero, and they're actually starting to talk strategy a fair bit. So we should get into that. It looks like... Oh, never mind. They're not really talking strategy. They're just talking about the map itself. Oh, Drone... Yeah. Drone and El Torero want to cheese it out. Huh, what are they going to do? Seen a lot oh, of cheeses today. Because Gotta likes some uh, on this map, I think. He likes what, sir? And that's what he wants to play. Mm. Sorry, what does he like? He likes spiders on this map. Gotta does. Ah, okay. Well, I can't say I blame him. This is a good map for spiders. It's very hilly. It's Yeah, it's got a lot going for spider play. It has a problem with Rocco's, though. If well, they go um, cloak bot on this map, Spider has trouble with Rockos. That's true. Well, anyway. Oh well, yeah, go to okay. Drone and Elder are assuming Gold is going to go Spiders. He's not actually said anything. He might be on Mumble with Forever. Probably. He said they were. Anyway, Drone and El Torero are. See, Clickbot is going up for them, and Spider for El Torero, so he's going for Spiders. Golda is not doing anything yet, and Transport coming up for Gunship. Okay, what do Forever and Golda have planned? Cloaky coming up. Sniper? Yeah, they're ah. cheesing. I wouldn't think with the Transport they'd be going that. I think I think the Cloaky Bot Factory is probably it's just, just a... to follow up with a comm drop using Rockos yeah, or something. That would make sense, because probably just, or possibly there, just so that scouts come in and see the Cloaky Bot Factory and think everything's normal. And then it turns out, oh yeah, no it's not. No, everything's completely messed up. However, it doesn't matter. El Toro is going to see that gunship plant. And Nats... He's going for mass Nats, I think. Or I think nats. they're going to try and stun the enemy comms. And That's then land on them. To do. I keep forgetting to switch to game audio. Ah. <sighs> but yeah, they're going to... What are they... Wait, there's no. There's nothing in that Vindicator. He's gonna nap. They're oh. gonna try and nap him. Oh, oh it's yeah. Gonna work. That's gonna work too. Wow. Uh, I, what I the didn't, heck? I think I think Gotta and um, Forever are the favored match, uh, the, the favored team here, and they well, were Sob favored and last game. The, to see them yeah. cheese like this and do it successfully is weird. It is, but I mean, Saab and Yurgo were also the favorite, but <laughs> they still lost. So I don't know. I, the heck? Yeah, that just dumped it. Dumped to death. Wow. Elturo just loses a commander like that, and Drone has some defenders set up to deal with this, and some gremlins as well, but that's... That's it, and Nat's coming in here. What the... Okay, who the <laughs> heck paused? Who in the world paused this? God, I did. Gota paused? Uh, tactical pause. Yeah, give us an enemy's time, or give us opponent's time to think. Oh, but the Nat's not in place. Or, sorry, the, not the Nat, the Tom is in place. However, Gota coming in with some... Oh, nice. Coming with Glaives to get rid of the gremlins, because there's no defense against that. Drone's commander is not even level... It's only level zero. Gremlin's going down. Defender's going down. More gremlins going down. So much wasted metal for Drone. El Torero building up some weavers trying to rebuild, but... 
Sheesh. And, uh, oh man, econ harassment behind. Doesn't even matter that drones com wasn't napped. The ironic thing is that if Burrow had have jumped at the right time, he was ejected from the board, he would have survived and taken no impact damage. Wait, if El Toro had jumped as he was dumped out? Yeah. Exactly. Oh, wow, yeah, I guess you so. You could at by doing a jump in I don't mid know if anyone's ignored that. Also, you kind of chopped out there, so I want to repeat that. Um, yeah, if you just get dumped out of a transport, that's what um, uh, Forever did to El Torero. He's dropped off the transport and relied on impact damage to kill him. Uh, mm -hmm. If you jump in the middle of that, you can avoid all impact damage. Yeah, but I, don't, I don't know if El Torero was aware he could do that, because that never happens. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I have never seen that happen before in my life. In the last, like, nine months I've been casting this game, I have not seen that, which admittedly isn't a very long time, but still, I have not seen that happen. It's a really old tactic, but that is the first time I have seen it in a long time. Yeah, I guess people just haven't really gone for gunships much recently. So it hasn't come up. But yeah, that Vindicator is getting repaired, and it looks like it might be going for another pass on Drone's Commander. I don't know. Yeah, I think Forever's job here is to take out, do as much damage as he can to one of the opponents, then God can sort of play the rest of the game and finish up. He has Nats coming in. He's going back to El Toro's base. What? Not sure why that's happening. Although, the Venom stopping those Nats, that wasn't the best idea. Yeah, However, that's terrible. Oh no, the Venom's getting stunned out. So it just needs to have the Glaze follow up and that would be okay. Oh, and the Vindicator gonna kill off that Venom. That just... That just doesn't... Although, Coda's Commander coming in as well. Light Particle Beam Auto Repair coming in. Just to calm push after this. I mean, they've been pushing economy as well. Forever especially. Forever actually, okay, from Reclaim. Reclaiming El Torero's commander. Although he is, he is accessing metal, that's the one problem. He needs energy, he needs to stop accessing metal, he needs to produce something. But otherwise that's working okay. But now he just... Where's that Vindicator going off to? You can find that Vindicator then... Well, okay, I guess the game is paused, makes it easier to find the Vindicator. Oh, it's dead! Oh, I see, yeah, the Vindicator yep. went and got shot down. Oops. I think oh, well. we've got a light particle auto repair beam, um, light particle beam auto repair system, uh, comm in the middle there. They don't stand a chance. They're going to be able to expand behind this, and yeah. Goddard can keep harassing them. Ah. They've reclaimed all of the uh, comm metal as well. They have. Dead comm. Although forever did he excessed on a lot of it. <laughs> did he? Yeah, that most of that was in excess. If you were looking at the bars, it was just. Yeah, Forever's ping is way off. He's at 30 second ping. It's rather difficult to play with a 30 second ping. Gotta be honest. Oh, yeah, no, never mind. He's going back to the single digit seconds. Okay, now he's in the milliseconds again. Now he's yep, zero. He's okay, good. Where is Forever anyway? Oh, wow, he's, he's not even in the lobby anymore. Oh, wait, I see that. He's in... Why can't I recognize that flag offhand? I should know that flag. I know everybody else's flag. But I know he's... Well, okay, whatever. I'll just look it up afterwards. I think it's somewhere in Eastern Europe. Anyway. Someone it's in the chat's the... gonna yell at me for not knowing what that what Forever's flag is. Oh, Romanian! That's what he is. There's a left side. Um, and really, got got it. Since they all started clustered together. They're not actually that strong, and that Scythe can take out those three mexes. Yeah. They might, um... Drone and Del Torero. If they, they need to deal with this commander, though, up the front. Well, this... They did win game one, so they just have to kill this, and then they'll be... Wait. Yeah, they did. So, yeah. This is not going to be easy. God has pulled back all of his, um, glaives to deal with this Scythe in the back, though. And that but, leaves them open. That leaves... But Drone is actually... The drone has actually gone around him, and he's managed to escape. He's taken yeah. out another max. Clever. All the gnats are going to finish it off. This is great. All the pressure on the front has been completely relieved. That's what I mean. It's opened it up completely, so now Drone and El Torero can just run around at wills. No problems. Nothing that can really be done there. And the rocket spam started. Ah, uh, well, okay. There is that. That is going to work out for Gula. And the glaives are back up front. Though, at this point, Rocco's are up for... Well, they're up for Drone, but the thing is that it's not that big of a deal. Crane's just coming up here, and I think we'll probably see a switch to Brawlers, I'm guessing. 
that or Black Dawn, I guess. At this point, though, El Torero and Forever, sorry, El Torero and Drone have been ahead in energy economy, despite the lock, la, despite the loss of a commander. Golda and Forever have not built any power at all. Their power structure is entirely calm. I think they were relying very heavily on that too. sort of cheese and didn't have much of a, something, anything to think behind it, other than Goddo's Com Morph. And now you have Venom Rocco, which is a really strong combination oh, because the Venom's yeah, going to completely take care of the Glaze. Okay, Goddo's commander is dead. Never mind, it jumped. Not nah, jump. <laughs> <laughs> it's dead if it doesn't jump. I probably should have qualified that statement. It's gotta. Of course, he's gonna jump. That's true. He's paying, you can always assume he's paying absolute attention to absolutely everything all the time. Yes, yeah, so you can assume he has three monitors and two instances of the game open on each one. All this comes about to go down. Oh yeah, drones commander. No, not quite. It's not. It's fine. The venoms. The venoms just. Oh, that's true. The venom splash. Drones about to kill. Or it's, Eltra is about to it's kill. It's God is coming commander. into this calm. Although, God is calm. No, also, Khan is stunned. Khan is stunned. Well, we'll see. Oh no, drone actually. No, he's he's fine. Red back. Yeah, everyone got away. <laughs> oh no, God. Oh wow, that was nice. Glaive micro. Avoiding the red back for quite a lot longer than I would have expected. Still. Go to coming in here, and he's half stunned, jumping in reload still, not damaged, and cloaky bots for forever. Still getting some, getting some blast wings. I think he's gonna try to just finish off drone's command with the blast wings. But at this point, drone has a fair amount of energy economy in the back. He's only gonna lose half his energy economy. He has no upgrades on the commander, so no real investment there. Royal Terror, I believe. Sorry, what was that? We've set up to snipe that um, uh, god has come in the middle and everything. Yeah. Oh, there's an infiltrator. Infiltrator right here. That is going to do it. Godus commander gets stunned out by goes. an infiltrator. And that is... It's dead. Totally dead. Goda losing his commander. Ouch. And a Blastwing that tries to get rid of some rockers, but didn't. does not work. That is the only thing that was keep keeping um, God and Fro in the game. Is that Scyther and that take three mexes they haven't retaken them they're on got it and forever are down to four mexes now and uh drone and el Torero haven't had their bases damaged at all yeah this is interesting but unfortunately that if that nap on drone worked it would have probably been better but even then i don't know i think if they had had something a bit stronger behind this if they had have secured those three mexes they relied entirely on on the sort of aggression oh, forever of surrendered push. completely he's giving yeah. it to go to yeah, well, <laughs> that'd look better. But if they had of sort of, they relied entirely on sort of freaking the enemy out and ha putting that commander right in his face, you know, and then pushing Rocco's into him and, the and having a lot of glaives and things there, and then expanding naked behind it. But uh, Drone sort of saw this happening, put the scythe there, took out the naked expansion, and got the economy lead. Yeah, this whole expansion here, that was, that was major. And now with everything in Goda's control, I don't know. Still has a bit of a chance, but it's it would take a lot to push back. He needs to have a really good, really good surgical strike somewhere. Yeah, we lost to um, uh, me and Google lost to Drone and El Torero in a 2-0, so they are actually quite good. Ah, uh, they definitely make good opponents for each other. That's for sure. I've seen one v one games for them, but it looks like. We might just have double upset. Saab and Jurgen lost their match, and I think Drone and Forever or Golda and Forever are gonna lose theirs here. So yeah, that's that is certainly surprising. And yeah, Golda trying to get power infrastructure going, trying to push out as many rockets as he can. Not sure it's the best idea, especially these hammers coming in, but maybe get glaives as well. I don't know. He doesn't really have the economy. I think he's just sort of no. playing to see if he can out-micro, do Rocco versus Rocco, which is sort of dominant in the meta right now, and see if he can out-micro. Yes, drone. I it's call fun. it the Brownian motion generator. Or Brownian motion simulator. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Especially when they're on fight and they're actually being microed. Just dancing around. Yeah, Rocco versus Rocco. They just sort of shift back and forth and nothing ever hits just, anyone. They just run around in circles firing. But 
those Zeus's are not going to be a good use a good use here. The hammers, however, will. And that's where it's going to be problematic. I think that. Okay, Goda is getting surrounded on both sides. Goda's yeah, commander is trying to do it again. It's going to get destroyed by these venoms. They're coming up, coming up the hill. It's doing its best, but there's not much it can do. It's going down. It's trying. That was a really good. That was a good use of infiltrator earlier too. But both these comms have died. Both these comms from Goda and Forever have died to um, being EMP'd by spiders. Yeah. Those venoms. Oh, Goda just jumped <laughs> away from there. That venom missed. I can't believe that venom shot the sky and missed, but it did. How did that commander that was, get out of there? That was pretty good micro. He probably just had it sitting there, but that's pretty Terrain. good micro. And hey, Black Dawn coming in. We've seen a lot of Black Dawns this tournament, actually. I know. Which it's is, been everywhere. It's surprising. I, ex I expected Google well, and I had predicted a, um, a plane factory, land factory mapper, where every everyone's going that every game. And we yeah. saw a lot of that, but yeah, we that. didn't expect anyone to go on cheese or cook. Plane sort of pretty dominant. Yeah, on the moderately large maps, it's basically been gunship Loki. God's calm going down to fleas. Oh, is it? No, once no. again, <laughs> barely saved the 145 health. And that Black Dawn, however, gone down. No, it's it's it still might go down to fleas. No. No, it goes down to it. surrender. That is game and match. That is Drone and El Torero taking the finals. My goodness, how did that... That's an upset. That that's the upset. So, although people have been wanting me not to do the bronze match, even though like that's that is the finals. Like that is Sabin Yurga versus Dr Goda and Forever. I mean, yeah, those are the favorites to win. How can I not do the bronze match when those guys are there? Yeah, I thought um, Goda would be playing with uh, Znak, who's you know probably a little bit rusty, but Forever's really good. I expected them to take it. Yeah. I'm surprised. Although, admittedly, that cheese was kind of risky. Especially, they're down 1-0. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think it's surprising to cheese when you're down 1-0, but I think it's probably Forever's influence. He likes to do that. Oh, okay. That would make sense. I haven't really seen Forever play team games much. Actually, I haven't seen Forever play much to begin with. He's a bit of a sort of a trolley player. <laughs> he likes to, you know, do things like that. <laughs> Oh, uh, it looks like we are possibly going to skip the bronze match, which kind of sucks. Oh, well. <sighs> oh, I see it. Maybe because of Forever's connection. Yeah, I don't know. And, yes, it is Romania. I apologize to all my Romanian viewers that I do not know your flag offhand. I feel bad about that. Very, very bad. I shall go whip myself now. You'll excuse me. <laughs> yeah, it, it Forever saying his connection was bad. I would have would have been sad if he lost because of lag. I think that's what he's saying. Well, I might be why they were trying to finish it quickly. I don't know. Oh, Saab went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay. never mind, guys. There is not going to be a bronze match. It's going to be Drone and Elsa Rare versus Skazi and Yogstoth. First to sleep. Or first, last to sleep, rather. Whoever stays awake the longest wins. Seriously, I think they should probably start this too. Would you mind if they started a couple hours earlier, Sackdoth? Because I think that would probably help out with this. I, 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 it, that's fine. I mean, I don't think Google and I would be able to play, but we got knocked out in the second round this time, which is disappointing. We had yeah. all sorts of things planned. We had, like, we were getting out of Geyser. We thought someone's going to pick Geyser and do the Slasher, um, Rocco, Rocket Commander Cheese, which is really popular on Geyser and 1 vs. 1. Yeah. Like, do that all at once with both, both factories. So we had all that planned up. We deliberately got torpedo comms so that we so, so we could play a water map and just win it based on the fact that we're prepared for it nobody else was. We actually played that versus Drone and El Torero and they beat us on a water map, so... We didn't expect that. Yeah, well... Anyway, we're on to the finals, I guess, because the semifinals or the bronze match can't happen. Because Saab and Yurga basically forfeited that one due to sleep. On account of bed. Yeah, I think making this some, um, making these tournaments so that Australian players can play it, get up at 6 a.m. and play is probably not the best idea. Oh, it's 6 a.m. for you? Oh, yeah, I guess it would yeah, be. That's yeah, what, that's yeah, what I, I mean, it would be 4 a.m., but at least the European players would have a chance and I would have an evening. Yeah. 
but apparently that's not to be. So anyway, we'll be back shortly. I don't even know if we're going to be back now, but definitely back shortly. So stay tuned, everyone.